library is home to one of the most important map collections in the Netherlands. And with the recent addition of substantial map collections on Southeast Asia, such as the collection of the Royal Netherlands Institute for Southeast Asian and Caribbean Studies, KITLV, the collection almost doubled in size. And now there's more emphasis on maps of Asia and Indonesia in particular. One of the most spectacular items in this collection is this um, copper plate engraving of Batavia from 1652, which is beautifully colored as you can see. A small part of the collection is concerned with hand-drawn maps made by scientists and missionaries exploring unknown territories, like this example, a map of the island of Adonara, drawn by Gerrit Pieter Rufaar in 1910. And Rufaar is considered the last explorer of Indonesia. As a specialist of colonial and global history, I love working with old maps. They quite literally give us a view of the world that has since disappeared. Now for historians, maps present us with a challenge because we're used to working with written texts. It is for this reason that I'm very excited to learn about the possibilities of digital humanities. Geo-referencing of maps is the ultimate 21st century way of doing something that historians have been doing for centuries, which is to ask new questions of existing sources. For this crowdsourcing project, we selected about 7,000 digital maps. We ask you to help us to add coordinates to these maps. In the first place, we want to make our maps better accessible. Secondly, georeference maps can be used and analyzed further in geographical information systems.